Hello and welcome back to Five and Five, where we take five minutes to ask industry leaders five questions on how they are handling this crazy situation. And we have Mark Pickering with us today. Mark is the Creative Strategist and Business Director for APAC for Chimney. Thanks for joining us, Mark. No problem. How's things? Right. I hope you're well. I'm good, thank you. Let's kick this off with a personal question. Tell us, what is your spirit animal and why? Okay, my, my spirit animal has always been a dolphin, actually, um, predominantly because I like the sea um, and I like smart things. And um, you're always, careless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they're sleek and smart and beautiful animals. So I guess that's, and social. So I think that's pretty much, um, it's a little bit like me as well, I guess. But um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the I'll thing. Second that. I love dolphins and I love swimming with them and diving with them. It's great. It's amazing. Powerful experience. They're amazing animals. So, Mark, we are seeing that most companies are, are going virtual. Um, how can we bring experiential magic from behind the screens and get people to engage um, in a more interactive way? Yeah, I think um, I think some of the stuff that um, I've got actually got friends who are working in, in 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 actually event production, and they're a lot of them are moving through now to to VR. Um, where I mean, I have actually been giving them a bit of advice on that. Is you know obviously the, the the challenge with VR is the number of headsets that you can share and how how many people can actually share that experience without it being quite solo. So that's definitely one way. I've seen Secret Cinema doing a lot of stuff uh, with Zoom. Um, they're still working on different ways to make that happen and a bit more social. Um, you know, I think the technology will be adapting fast to this and, and so that people can get those experiences that they want uh, through a more virtual, uh, virtual way, digital way. Uh, and I think this whole format that we're getting used to talking like this and sharing like this, I think that will be a, a measure of how we move forward when it comes to events and, and, and those kind of long, big, big experiences. Is there any uh, virtual innovations that you've seen that you've been really impressed with? Um, I mean, we, we've been, with the content production industry, we've been using uh, tech to actually film remotely. So we're doing uh, remote shoots now. So we've got Sweden is part of our network. It's a country that is still open for film. We're doing uh, live, at, live shoots there where we can actually um, see through the camera lens and uh, a director in the US and a client in, in, in uh, Poland can all work together on the shoot still, but remotely and working in different countries. So I, I think that for us, that's definitely a, a new tech that's gonna be the future because travel will be so uh, tightly reined in in the next couple of years that it won't be economical to fly people around the world. And if you're gonna do a shoot, if you can use virtual technology to um, to almost be there yourself, but see it yeah. exactly as the camera is seeing it, then it's a way that we can still continue to produce content and film. Is this, is that new technology? Has it just been- It's new and adapted. I mean, the way we've adapted it, it's a new use. Um, and uh, the units, uh, they're, they're, there aren't many of them, but we're, we're kind of adapting and making them ourselves. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so Mark, what are your views on wearable technology? Yeah, that's an interesting one, really. We, uh, I was at South by Southwest a couple of years ago, and there was a huge uh, future technology uh, seminar. And wearable tech is definitely, from what they were saying then, and that was two years ago, it's something that's going to be, you know, very big. And, you know, we're already wearing this kind of tech already. We're used to having smart technology on us at all times now that um, the way that we can interact, use our bodies, um, use that to communicate with each other to uh, measure things measure our performance measure our, our health um, and then being able to share different things through wearable technology whether that be in our clothes or actually embedded in our bodies uh, all of that stuff is, is definitely on, on the move and end quickly and of course the the google glass being used, the virtual glass is being used for training um, for medical reasons all that kind of stuff so you know it's technology that is, is definitely on the rise and I think we'll see a lot more of it in the coming years. Okay, thank you. We've only got um, just over sort of 10 seconds left. Okay. So if I was to give you a million dollars, you've got a couple of seconds to think, what innovation would you create to sort of connect everyone that's self-isolating at home? 
I mean, I think um, the, the VR stuff through your glasses would be great. Now, I think that's going to be the biggest thing is having something like these that you can actually transport yourself into another world, something that's not so intrusive and isolating. But using VR and AR in those ways will, will change and the, and the content we produce for those platforms will be a new way of thinking as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Mark. And no this has been fine. Good luck. Stay safe.